Hey, we've got a really good one for you today. We're coming at you from Madison, New Jersey. Great Midtown Direct town that is less than 60 minutes into the city. We're in between Convent Station and Chatham and two stops from Summit. So let's get after it and give you a little downtown tour and check out what's here. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notifications bell so you can be the first to hear about current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff. The team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. All right, so as I mentioned, we're here in Madison, New Jersey. We're actually right now standing in front of the courthouse, beautiful Federalist style stone courthouse. And we're right across the street from the train station that I just showed you. This station is less than 60 minutes to Penn Station. Um, from Madison to Penn, you're looking at around 50 to 60 minutes on Midtown Direct trains. It will go up if you're on a local train or a train that transfers. Um, and as I mentioned before, you're in between Convent and Chatham. Either one of those stations, depending on where you are in the town, you might want to travel to one of those stations. Um, but this is a beautiful train station, as I said, sort of a Gothic style um, slate roof, I think. Just a <laughs> really pretty place to start your commute in the morning and then end up in the city. Uh, and then a great place to come home to at night. You come out and uh, you're right in the downtown, which is just over here. Um, there's plenty of tunnels to cross underneath the track, so there's plenty of room there. Like I said, if you're going to Chatham or Summit, uh, those are gonna be slightly quicker trains. Um, Chatham, I think, is closer to the 50 mark. And then Summit, you can get trains from like 46 to 55, depending on the time of day. It all depends on the time of day. There are always trains that are super fast. It just depends on whether or not those trains make your schedule or not. They could be too late in the day, they could be too early for you. You're gonna to wanna to check out the schedule and, and see what works for you. Okay, let's go check out the town, show you what's here. Um, you're gonna to wanna to stick it around to the end because we got a really cool restaurant, um, cafe that is really hitting it big here in Madison. And um, they've got a really cool event on Sundays. Little bit of a tease as to what it is. So we'll see you in a few seconds across the street. So Madison has a great downtown. I'd say it's even more urban than Summit's downtown because of just the way the original sort of layout of the little downtown area. Here's sort of your preview into getting into the little downtown. It's super green with the nice street trees. You've got really cute shops and restaurants. Um, just the architecture, I think, makes it so. Uh, enchanting as far as a little downtown area. Got lots of options in terms of like grabbing a coffee or a bagel in the morning. Here you go. Actually, here's a little map of uh, this is kind of cool. Little map of the old downtown area. Just a cute little place to make you know your suburban commute to the city. So yeah, there's the Hill Tavern back there. Great lunch spot. Um, in between, you've got lots of um, fashion and so on. Every town needs a barber. <coughs> Jewelry store here on the corner. This is the main intersection between um, Main Street and Waverly. Waverly is cool because it's, it's a divided road. So you got parking on four sides of the road because there's that main um, divider. So plenty of parking down here if you're trying to come over for a visit during the day or on the weekends. Uh, to get some food, um, lots of little boutiques and stuff. Here's the noon tea. Some cool little treats and teas there. Um, Italian food here, specialty cooking, Italian products. Looks like they have a cooking school as well. Another bagel place, Bagel Chateau, um, nail spa, deli. Lots of good options. This is a little Thai French cuisine. This looks really cool. I'm gonna have to check that out. I haven't tried that one yet. Good combo. This is actually a fitness place, the Max. Max Challenge. 
across the street you've got um, nail salons, more fashion, uh, Rocco's Pizza, also an Italian restaurant here. Rocco's Pizza is right across the street. Cool little alley, your local wine store right downtown. You've got everything here. I mean, um, you don't have big grocery stores here, but down the street you've got a Whole Foods and a little closer than the Whole Foods you even have a stop and shop. So again, varying price points on groceries, that's good. Um, this is a really nice intersection because we're at the intersection of Green Village and Main Street. It was the old library. Uh, but now it's like a historical museum, so you can go and check that out. As you go further up the road here, you've got access to some of the universities, which we'll talk about in a second. And there's two universities and then a third one neighboring. Um, so this is Madison, really cool um, kind of three block stretch. Really a lot to check out here, a nice little antique store behind me. The vibe here and the sort of the architecture sets the tone. It's really beautiful. Got your ice cream place I forgot to mention. A little jazz restaurant too, so that's cool. So if I haven't already mentioned it, Madison, New Jersey, the population is just under 17,000 people. Like I said, there are a few universities in town. So there's Drew University, which is in the heart of Madison, and Fairleigh Dickinson just borders the edge. It kind of dips in a little bit. Um, those are you know, four-year universities. You've also got the College of St. Elizabeth's, which is just up the street, so it's kind of neighboring Madison. It's not directly in Madison, but if you're students or if you're parents of students that are looking in the area for your kids, maybe you want to think about investing in a home. Four years obviously is a long time to own a home. Good appreciation in that amount of time usually, especially if interest rates go down, um, you know, hopefully over time appreciation will kick in and, and help you out there. Now a little bit more about the town in terms of uh, living here. You've got three elementary schools, one middle school, one high school, and those are all A- minus to A- plus rated depending on the school. Overall the school district's really well rated. Uh, you can check that out on niche.com uh, is where I got those, those statistics. Those are their um, opinions of the schools based on their data. So real estate in Madison, um, right now there's only 18 homes on the market. This is 2022. Uh, in the just starting the fall almost the upper listing is about 1.6 million the lower listing at the at this point in time is around mid 500s um, you know there's sometimes there'll be something a little bit bigger a little bit more expensive um, but the bulk of the stock is right around a million um, if you're looking at a condo you want to save a little bit of money maybe downsize don't worry about maintenance too much condos are in the mid to low 500s and going down to the mid 400 so pretty tight margin there um, you know, if you're looking for like a two bed, uh, something like that. Um, but all in all, the homes in the area are very pretty. Um, some of them are more fixer uppers, some of them are older and need a little bit of work. Some of them have already been rehabbed. Um, so those are probably gonna be a little bit more expensive, but overall there's low inventory, but the stock of inventory here is really pretty. Um, the homes in the area are great. And like I said, you've got this beautiful downtown that I just showed you. Imagine coming to that on your commute every day to and from the city. Um, I'm standing a little Rose Garden Sculpture Park Memorial. Um, overall, great town. I think we should really get in touch on this one, check it out. Actually, I just crossed the street and I wanted to show off this building. It's a really cool Dutch revival. You can see these really nice dormers. Um, and the brick is beautiful. It's this creamy, um, sort of beige and gold and tan brick. And if you look up closely, I believe it's called an iron spot brick. Um, there's got little flecks of iron that over time they rust and that's what gives it that color. I'll do a little zoom in so you can see what that looks like. But again, just amazing architecture in this town, really cute. Um, and I know I use the word cute a lot, but what can I say? That's what it is, it's really gorgeous. Details galore in Madison and um, this is actually the train, one of the tunnels. We're gonna go through here and check out that really cool surprise restaurant. So you might have guessed it from the intro, it's Sunday Motor Cafe is where we're headed. And this is a really cool little old garage gas station that they converted into a cafe. On the weekends they do uh, Porsche meetups. If you're a Porsche guy and you wanna show off your car, definitely stop by here. I'm sure you'll be well, um, well welcomed and um, People, they basically instead of all these cars it would be Porsches. 
Um, really good food, um, nice, well-designed atmosphere. You're gonna wanna check this one out if you're visiting Madison. I thank you for hanging out with us today and checking out what's going on in Madison. If you're interested in learning more, get in touch with us. We'd love to get you on a tour of the area and show you what's around even more, show you into some homes. So I'm Jeff, thanks for spending time with us, and we'll see you in the next video.